Be happening tonight, leaders on the Isle of Palms are discussing the future lane configuration for the Isle of Palms connector, and they are also talking about the potential for new safety measures on the beach. News 2's Kevon Dupree is joining us live from the Isle of Palms City Hall. And Kevon, you heard from council members on these two topics. Brendan Carolyn, the council members do not all agree on the potential lane configuration for the Isle of Palms connector. However, they're expected to take a vote here shortly. Now, the South Carolina Department of Transportation presented city council with five different potential concepts for the connector in December of last year. SCDOT also distributed a public survey to gauge which of the five concepts citizens favored the most. The majority of responses from the public and council members were in favor of option number five, which includes two lanes heading toward Mount Pleasant and one lane in the direction of the island. However, there are some council members who don't believe that is the best option. And earlier, I spoke with Council member Jan Anderson, who says the city has more planned down the line than just simply restriping the connector. We're working with the town of Mount Pleasant and South Carolina DOT to uh, we'll have to retime the signal at Rifle Range Road so that traffic moves more um, better through that intersection. On the island, the intersection of the connector at um, Palm Boulevard uh, we're looking into some improvements there. They may take a little bit longer because we'll, we'll actually be doing more than just restriping. And I will have more from tonight's meeting on News 2 at 10 and 11 o'clock. And now we'll send it out to News 2 Sophia Radeball, who has more on the future of parking right here on the Isle of Palms.